Hello YouTube, this is Oskizzle here bringing you my first ever unboxing. And what will I be unboxing? Oh, the James Bond 50 set for Blu-ray. Why am I doing an unboxing video? Well, it's because it's freaking James Bond and I love James Bond. I used to be a huge James Bond nerd back in middle school, collected all the movies on DVD. I purchased all four Ultimate Edition sets that came out at the time, purchased a few of the books, and now, a few years later, I got this Bond 50 set. Pretty cool. It's really expensive, but, uh, oh my god, I couldn't help myself. Just the inner, just a 7th grader in me just really just had to get this. Now, let's do this. I get the. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand here. <laughs> Holding an iPhone. Ah! Uh, hold on. I'm sure this thing was good. Okay, got the wrap off. Getting it off. What's always exciting. Thank God this is the easy kind to rip off. Some other kinds are really annoying. Oh yeah. Oh, shiny. Oh, I love that cover so much. Not a big fan of these, though. I don't know. I just think if you come into a huge box set, the info should just be embedded on there. It shouldn't be taken off for some weird artwork. I don't know. I don't like taking these off, so I'll just leave it there. Or maybe one day it will fall off, so I'll see what's behind there. I don't really care. Now, let's look at this. This box set comes with two books containing all 22 movies. That's right, all 22 movies. Thank God I didn't waste money on the previous Blu-rays that came up before. Except I got Quantum of Solace on Blu-ray, but oh well. Those are the two books. Separated in half. I don't know why they couldn't just do it in one book. Uh, beats me. Maybe they thought it was cool this way, which it is cool. Yeah. 1962 to 1981. I didn't choose. I don't know who chose the order. Pretty cool layout. Doctor No. From Russia with Love. Probably my first or second favorite. I don't know what's up there. Goldfinger. Thunderball. Great movies. You only live twice. Our Magic Secret Service, very underrated in my opinion. Diamonds Are Forever. It's Roger Moore. This is where he started changing. This is where they had to switch actors. Well, they switched actors on On Magic Secret Service, but he only lasted a movie. Did it have his picture? I didn't see. Oh, it did. Okay. Alright. More Roger Moore movies. Man with the Golden Gun, freaking awful. <laughs> Spy Who Loved Me, freaking awesome. <laughs> That's Ringo Starr's wife, by the way. She's pretty hot. <laughs> Moonraker. It's actually, I think it's dumb fun. For Your Eyes Only. Probably my favorite of the Roger Moore movies. That's it. Time for the other book. Octopussy, my overall least favorite of the entire series. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to get too much of that. A View to a Kill, I actually think it's underrated. A lot of people hate this movie. I thought, I don't know, I thought it was fun. I just thought it was fun. It's not one of the best, but it's so entertaining. Better than this piece of crap, but okay. I digress. Here, Timothy Dalton. He had two good ones, I believe. Living Daylights, I really enjoyed. License to Kill was decent, but it's not nearly as good. Living Daylights... Uh, here we go. Pierce Brosnan. Goldeneye. Goldeneye was... Oof. Nintendo 64 game, which I still own. 
Great movie. Fra- this title from Russia with Love is my favorite James Bond movie. Tomorrow Never Dies. This is the first James Bond movie I've ever seen in my life. And I still really enjoy it. More Pierce Brosnan. World is Not Enough. Uh, again, not one of the best ones, but it's still entertaining. Die Another Day is... Yeah, I think it's really entertaining no matter how stupid it gets, and it does get pretty stupid. Here we have Daniel Craig, Casino Royale. Casino Royale is one of my favorites. It's so good. Quantum of Solace, I didn't like that much when I saw it in the theater, but seeing it again on Blu-ray, because I own the other Blu-ray version, it's okay, I guess, but it's nowhere near as good as Casino Royale, and it should have been much better. Now this, I think, is... Oh, dang, that's cool. Now this is, I think, is really awesome. that They have a spot reserved for Skyfall already. Just when the movie comes out, I could just buy the Blu-ray and just slide the disc in it. But what am I going to do with the case? Uh, I don't know. Take this off. What is this? Aw, oh, freaking tease. It'd be awesome if it accidentally came with the movie already. Oh, well. And what if they make, um... The next James Bond movie after that, do we have to buy another set for another? I don't know. But it's still cool that they came with this reserved spot. Oh, shoot. Uh, great, it's already damaged it. And bonus disc, special features, which I will probably give a watch soon. Okay. That is the Bond 50 set. I am so happy I finally got this. It's tons of money, but well worth it. Can't wait to watch these movies on Blu-ray. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.